Okay guys, welcome back to the channel. So today, we're gonna to be replacing a very, very, very high failure part. If many of you guys don't know, this part can actually stick open and cause the engine to actually destroy itself from over fueling. And therefore, this M5 with the S85 engine is no different. It is a common, common problem. And it's not only common on the S85, this has been common on a lot of different engines worldwide, regardless of what it is. And this cause has been known for many, many years, but specifically on the M5 and M3s. And therefore, I'm taking no chances. Therefore, I am gonna be replacing all 10 of them today on the video, and I'm gonna be showing you how you actually can do that. This job shouldn't take no longer than probably half hour to an hour at the maximum, but bearing in mind I'm recording, I'm gonna try and position you and show you how to get them off and what you need to be careful with when you actually remove them. So I ain't gonna talk anymore. Let's get onto the video. God damn, get it done, will you? Woo. When the blow up now, everybody's so unusual with it. Shit. But said times in his rhymes cause his memories. We running through New York so you know Okay guys, so as you'll see here, this is the injector rail right here. Now, we are gonna have to remove the two 10 mil bolts which are located here and here. But before we go ahead and do that, I am gonna remove all the injector wiring. Now this is very, very simple. All you're gonna need is a pick like this. And you're gonna wanna pick the hooks up and then take off the injector wiring harness itself before you end up taking out the injectors. Now, before you take out the injectors, you do need to bear in mind to not release all the 10 mil bolts straight away. What you're gonna to wanna to do is unloosen them, prise the injectors up, because what you don't want to happen is the injectors to pop off, the injector rail, whatever fuel is left inside, it to drop through the ports, and then obviously flood the cylinders and with a lot of fuel, because that's the last thing you wanna do, because that's just as bad as your injector sticking open while the car is running. So we are gonna release the injector wiring harness. Um, you guys will know exactly how to do that. It's the same on all BMWs, the injector wiring is no different on the M5. Just get a pick tool, and just lift up you know, the holding clips and then pull them off each one by one. Then what you'll do is then release the bolts and we'll start pulling the injectors out bit by bit, slowly. I'm gonna have a towel to cover the ports after because when I take the injectors off, any fuel I don't want leaking into there. So therefore I'm gonna do it one by one and replace one by one. And you will need to have silicone in order to silicone the O-rings to make them stick back in properly because obviously if they don't stick, you'll end up with a leak of fuel coming out or obviously um, a fuel, air, fuel and air mixture a leak from the seals not sealing properly into the actual throttle bodies itself. So I'm gonna go ahead and just pick these off. Now the injector wiring harness is now out. What we're gonna to wanna to do now is we're gonna release the two 10 mil bolts, not fully, just unloosen them and then we're gonna prise up with pliers to try and pull the injectors out of each port. So these are small 10 mil bolts, so just bear that in mind. And you just wanna unloosen them in half, but not fully out, just so the injectors can move when you pull up on them to free them. Just like that again. Then what you're gonna to wanna to do is get pliers and you're gonna to wanna to pull up on them because what we don't want is them to pull out of this rail here and then leak fuel, even though they've got locking clips, but they can be seized in here. Now we're gonna do is wibble them about. They will be a bit stiff due to the O-rings. And just like that, that's the injectors out. Now what we're gonna do, before we start pulling the injectors, I wanna put a towel underneath each port. In turn, as we remove the logging clip, because I don't want fuel to get in the port so we have to do it like this to be on the safe side um, so we're going to pull each one so if fuel comes out the rail it will not flood the ports so let's pull off the locking clips and it will be the same for all the sides so we've got the locking clip off now and now what we're going to do is pull that injector off i'm going to try and pull it out bit by bit probably under pressure from fuel just like that and as you can see the fuel's leaking and that's why i tell you to put the towel down and you can see there that's one of the injectors out so we are gonna change that over for a newer one now. So you'll see here, I've got all brand new Bosch ones. They cost me 500 pound um, off, I think it was eBay for all four, six, 10 of them. So we are gonna replace it all 10 because I just don't feel comfortable with these injectors in anymore. Uh, bearing in mind, there's been too many issues with injectors on these cars. 
with the new injector, it's very easy. You're just gonna wanna push it into place. Just like that. Make sure it's all straight. Then you're gonna wanna get your locking clip again. You lock that one up. Now we're just gonna put the locking clip back on into place. And then once that's locked back in, you can then move forward to the next one. Now we'll move over to this one. So we'll just take that one off. That's somewhere safe. And then we're just gonna wobble this one out. And again, fuel's gonna leak out. So we just catch it all with the towel. And now a lot of you are probably asking me, how am I gonna put the O-rings back in? We'll lube them after I'm done. But for now, we're just doing all the injectors. That one's in now as well. So now we're gonna lock that one back up. Just like the other one, slide over and it will lock into place. It'll pull itself in to place and lock itself once you pull it in. And that's the other injector in. Now we're gonna to move to the third one, which again, make sure you cover all your ports. You don't want petrol leaking into them. And once we've done that, then what we're gonna do is now pull this one off. And same for this one. Just make sure we've got extra toweling down there, depending on how much fuel comes out. You can see there quite a bit of fuel's coming out. That's because that's the middle part of the rail. So now we'll just stick this one in. Just like that. one as well. Now onto the fourth one. And that's that one now locked in. So now what we're gonna do is what we're gonna do here is we're gonna lube up all the O-rings before we put it back in. And you know, so they just slot back in perfectly. You don't need too much of this on it at all. You just need it to obviously glide back in. That's why I'm using this kind of stuff, very thin, like a water base, just to ease the O-rings back into place without issue. So they don't crush them. We just want to push down, make sure everything seals, which it did, just like that. Everything is now in and sealed. Now we're gonna bolt it back down. And we shall bolt it back down. Now we're gonna have to put all our clips back in for the injector rail. And that's the job complete on the passenger side. Now we're gonna move over to the driver's side. I won't recall that because it will be exactly the same thing. But now you guys get to see how you change the injectors on the BMW S85. And this is the same for the M52 as well. It's exactly the same injector rail and the same injectors that you would use on the M52 also. So I hope this video is now gonna help you and show you how to change your injectors on your BMW S85 engine. Okay guys, so as you've seen there, I've now replaced all 10 injectors on my BMW S85. Now this is the same regardless of whatever engine you have, regardless it's M52, M54. If you have a petrol engine with the normal petrol injectors, just like this, you will have to remove them exactly the same and it will be the same exact removal process as it is on the S85. 
The reason I replaced all 10, as many of you guys know, when the S85 come out, there was a high, high risk of these sticking open, especially on the S85 engine, causing catastrophic failure from injecting too much fuel into the cylinder, which will in turn flood the engine and actually destroy the engine. Therefore, it's not a risk I'm willing to take, and I've changed these just to be on the safe side. So I hope this video will actually help you if you've got an S85, an M52, an M54. If you have any of them engines, this will help you remove them injectors. And please, if you do have an M5, make sure you do upgrade these. They're around 500 pounds for all 10, so it's not expensive at all, but it is the better to be safe than sorry. And that's why I've replaced these because at any time it could actually happen. And I do not want that on this engine. So I hope you guys have actually enjoyed seeing me work on the M5. This is the end now. I've now overhauled every single thing to make this engine bulletproof for at least another 100,000 miles. We are gonna be putting this engine back together. Now starting it up and bleeding all the system, the coolant, the oil to the Aldovanos system itself and getting this car back on the road for his first test drive. So thank you very much for watching guys. It's BMW Dr. Dean here and goodbye.